Hello YouTube, it's Lucidus Lux coming to you with a review video from uh, Clinton, Montana actually. Uh, I've been on the road for about a month, uh, headed to Seattle, uh, just traveling around, seeing a few people, working from the road with my job, and uh, I'm able to do that because my expenses are pretty low. And I just wanted to send you guys a quick review video of my Mr. Cool heating system. I've uh, been watching it all winter. Uh, you could argue we don't really have a winter in North Carolina, um, but you know it depends on the climate you're uh, coming from. But in North Carolina, it does get a little bit cold here and there. Um, and I uh, just wanted to review the pros, the cons, the things I've noticed, the things I like, uh, the difference in my energy bill and whatnot. Uh, one of the biggest things I'll say right off the bat is my energy bill was much cheaper than it was last year. Last year I was using uh, heat via propane and electric. My electric bill last year averaged around $90, went as high as about $100 and about as low as about $86. This year I just actually got my utility bill right before I left, it was $78. Now, that may not seem like a lot of savings, but the uh, $90 bill also included about, I want to say, $20 every 12 days worth of propane. So that is not included in that, uh, that previous uh, bill. You've got to add that into there too. So it was well over $100 heating my place uh, last year. The Mr. Cool system, I did not expect a whole lot in heat mode because primarily it's an air conditioner. However, I was actually quite surprised. Uh, it was able to very eff efficiently heat my uh, 400 square foot tiny house, which is not huge, but it's decently sized for myself. And uh, both levels, both the top and bottom floor. Now, the top level is not as well insulated as the bottom, but it was able to keep up with both. Uh, the heat was very evenly distributed, and I was actually uh, pleasantly surprised, since mainly I use it as my primary AC. It's been my primary heat source. So without further ado, I want to jump right into the pros and the cons here. Uh, I wish you guys all well. I will say this unit has held up really well so far. I haven't had any major issues with it. I have noticed as time has gone on, the outside unit has increased uh, as far as being a little bit louder. Uh, you can tell with it with the heat mode, it, it does operate a little louder um, than the cool mode. And it's also more efficient with the cooling than the heating. Um, but other than that, it, it's, it's actually worked out pretty well. Uh, one of the major differences I noticed right off the bat is when you turn this unit on and you set it to the heat mode, um, it will do exactly what it's doing right now. Um, this uh, swing vent will, will stop about mid-level, it won't come all the way down, and it'll just wait for about seven to 10 minutes. And that's because uh, the outdoor unit is um, is heating up and it's, it's basically charging and it's getting it ready uh, to start. So you have a delayed start when you run the heat mode. Um, it's not as efficient as the cool mode, uh, but it definitely has worked for me. This has uh, heated my 400 square foot tiny house, including the upstairs uh, during the winter time. I actually have a huge 30,000 BDU gas heater um, and a small little electric heater uh, that I used to supplement and I haven't really had to use uh, either. I have used the electric heater a little bit um, in my bedroom because it's, it's a little ways back from the unit but honestly um, other than a few little bits of suppl supplementing and now you can see just to interrupt myself here that this has fully it's fully started I can now feel the heat coming out the scope moves all the way down and it will cycle that way it'll blow heat for a while and then it'll stop move back up it'll kind of charge back up and then it'll continue so it's not consistent it does stop um, and it also cycles off when it's when it's reached its its maximum temperature that you set it at but it has handled everything I've thrown at it I have supplemented it a little bit because my bedroom's a little further away from this uh, unit uh, but honestly it's pretty much replaced every other mode of heating that I have I have a little hatch uh, to go upstairs and uh, I've left that open when I'm upstairs working on my computer uh, I work from home now and uh, I've ran this a whole lot more than I normally do in the winter time I'm, I'm pretty much gone and I don't turn it on a whole lot uh, my dog doesn't really need it and I'm also in North Carolina so it doesn't get too cold here and I will say that it, it's pretty moderate it does drop down to about 20 degrees sometimes maybe 50 15, but that's pretty rare. Most of the time it'll get down to about 32 uh, or 40. Um, so it's, it's worked pretty well. I have noticed that uh, I've had to clean out the, the air filter a little bit more uh, with the heating mode um, because I've been using it a little bit more and it will actually send you an email um, as well as let you know on the app when this is getting full or clogged. Now most of the time uh, when you when you get that that notification you can pull this out and as, a, as you can tell um, it's showing on the app right now that it's about 50 percent full and 
it's really not that dirty. I mean, I have a pretty clean, clean house, and so it doesn't really pull a lot of dust in. You can see a little film on there, um, but it, it it functions and errs on the side of, of caution as far as telling you when to change these, and they're pretty straightforward as far as spraying out, just putting right back in there. The vent is on the top where it sucks air in, and it blows it out in the bottom. So this Mr. Cool system is heavily integrated with the app and it is designed to be used in tandem with the unit. The unit is a standalone unit and you can use the remote. However, all the features will not be available and sometimes it will actually be a little out of your control if you don't have the app also accessible. And I'll explain that in just a little bit. I do want to say I already reviewed this app on my summer review. And so if you want to know more about the app in greater detail, just check out that video and, uh, and you'll find out uh, some more information there. I just want to be very brief with some of the pros and the cons of this unit, specifically with regards to the app. So this app has a comfy mode, which I'm about ready to turn on here, and that enables the unit to function within predefined rules that you have set up, which I'm about ready to go to here. And you can tell the unit to do certain things when the temperature goes above and below a certain range. However, this is only accessible by the app. If you have comfy mode enabled and you try to use the regular remote, the system will actually override the remote and turn itself back on. Um, within the app itself, it will actually override you sometimes as well. So if you have comfy mode enabled in the background, um, it will turn the system on. You can turn it off all you want. It's going to turn itself back on. Um, if you disable comfy mode right here, like I'm doing now, um, that will actually not work because it will turn itself back on still because it's running in the background. You have to turn it off twice and disable it in the background. Otherwise, it's going to kick itself back on. So that is kind of a, a blessing and a curse because it pretty much runs itself and uh, will regulate its own temperature. It needs very little user uh, input once you set it up right. However, as you can tell, it just came back on there. However, um, if you have someone subleasing your house like I do where they do not have the app and they only want to use the remote, it's a little bit of a con because you're not able to fully access all the functions and or it may turn itself on when you really want it off. Now, if you're going away for an extended period of time, uh, there is a vacation mode, which I have not really used because um, I honestly have had some people stay in my house when I'm gone for months and months at a time, but it is here so that you can keep it off and, and set within certain parameters if you really, really want to use it. Um, I've uh, tried, I've completely forgot in the past about comfy mode and I've disabled it, turned it off, left the house, come back several days later and found out my AC or heat has been on for two days, which is a little disheartening because it's pretty much wasting power. So that is a little bit of an issue. It's almost too efficient and it's almost uh, too smart where it just will do whatever it needs to do and turn itself back on. So I would definitely recommend you use vacation mode if you're going away for an extended period of time. And if you have somebody else um, sticking around the house to watch it while you're gone, they really, really need the app for it to function the most efficiently. If you turn off the comfy mode, it basically functions like a normal dumb appliance, so to speak. It will just do what it tells you to do. It doesn't cycle. It just stays on until you tell it to turn off, rather using the heat mode or the AC mode. That's something that I really don't like. I wish there was a way to uh, access the comfy feature from the remote. Um, but as of right now, there isn't uh, because you have to be able to adjust it and uh, they only have that accessible by the app. So it will uh, limit the features. Uh, so my, my friend at, at my house at the moment who's subleasing uh, basically has had uh, several events where the system has turned itself back on and uh, I've had to override it um, from over here in Seattle, uh, which is kind of been a little bit of a negative, but it's, it's like I said, it's almost too efficient. So take it as you will, rather that be a pro or a con, but that's currently how the unit is set up to run. Something else that's actually pretty nice about this unit is it reconnects pretty consistently to the internet. I've had some internet issues in the past. My internet's pretty stable now, but I had a, a router that kept uh, acting up and, and just disconnecting or, or dropping off the network, and it caused all of my smart devices to drop off the network. Now, with, with a lot of the smart devices, I had to manually reconnect, but the Mr. Cool will manually reconnect itself to the network uh, pretty consistently. If, if, it, if the network drops and it can't sense it, um, this little Wi-Fi icon will disappear and that's how you know. You can check the app and you won't be able to see it. It'll turn red. Um, but if you're just looking at the unit itself, this will, 
will will not turn on anymore and uh and and you'll just see the temperature displayed only and you can also turn these lights on or off i have them on so i can see them but you can set it so it doesn't show at all um but that will disappear and it will automatically reconnect so that's something that's nice i don't have to reset it up every time my internet was was dropping however if you turn this off for an extended period of time say a week and you turn it back on it is going to make you go back through and and reconnect it because at that point um the flash memory is gone you've had it off long enough that it basically needs you to manually turn it back on so if the power goes off and then turns back on and it's and it's not off for very long it will save a lot of the settings but if you actually flip the breaker and keep it off for for over uh within i would say within three to four hours um then it will forget and you will have to reconnect it it, it will show as a uh, as, as a new device, essentially. So that is another uh, detriment. Um, and that really can't be helped because memory can only last so long if you're going to keep a unit uh, without power. But if you keep it off and turn it off and you don't turn it back on, it, it will always remember everything. Um, I've just turned it off a few times because I've, I've been gone for weeks at a time. And, uh, and there it is, charging back up again and turning back on. So overall, uh, the heat function has worked very well. I haven't had to turn really anything else on. And, uh, and it's functioned um, very nice. I've actually been quite surprised my inner Energy bill didn't go that high. It's actually still lower than when I was using other forms of electric and or gas heat. I still use my gas heater once in a while because there's something about gas heat that's really nice. Um, but this will function well for a 400 square foot tiny house. Um, it has taken care of all of my needs um, other than the pump being a little louder and the delayed start. Um, you know, I really don't have many complaints. This unit has, has met all my needs plus. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. I want to thank you guys for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day.